Ethan had always been a good kid, yet managed to remain extremely ordinary. He received an average grade on most of his assignments, had a normal amount of friends, and wore rather simple clothes. Overall, he was nothing extravagant. There was no need to be. As long as he was himself, then there was no desire to change. That was one thing that remained a constant. Over time, his friend group gradually changed, his interests slowly morphed into new things and spread to multiple platforms, and even his voice had changed. Small things, yes, but noticeable things. Other than that, nothing else seemed different. Eventually, he gained popularity. On YouTube, he was being noticed more. It was nice to be admired even if he was nothing special. He played games he enjoyed, did collabs with people he liked, and slowly began to gain a following on social media as well. His heart swelled with joy as he saw the kind things people would say about him. Eventually, he was being tagged in things along with Mark and Jack. They were friends, of course that would happen, but initially thought nothing of it. His curiosity got the best of him though, and he finally wandered into the darker tags. The posts began to change. They look the same, yes, but there were mentions of dark applier and antiseptic eye. Confused as to why he was being tied in with fictional characters, he began to dig deeper. Finally. Finally, he found a post that gave him a clue. It was a photo of Dark and Auntie, which he expected, but between them stood an emotionless, black-eyed figure. It may have been a coincidence that the character looked so similar to him, but he initially brushed it off. He closed his computer, turned his phone off, and went to bed as normal. That's when the nightmares began. He wasn't sure if it even counted as a nightmare, due to the bizarre imagery and odd feeling it left him with, but it certainly wasn't a normal dream. He would find himself inside a pure white room, with nothing else inside. No furniture, no windows, no door anywhere that would allow him to leave or even provide an entrance in the first place. Then, strange black and blue flowers bloomed from the ground. Not in a cartoony way like one would expect, but like he was watching a time lapse of the flowers growing. All the while, he couldn't move. He was forced to watch these bruised flowers grow taller until finally, they stopped. People he vaguely recognized then seemed to pull themselves from the stems of the plants. They would then move closer, one step at a time, slowly, as if savoring the fear on his face. The people began to speak, but he couldn't understand. It didn't sound like any language he'd ever heard before. In fact, it sounded more like gibberish than a proper language. Over time, they began moving closer, speaking louder, faster. Their words became even more unintelligible. And then, right before they reached him, he woke up. The dream never ended immediately, though. Even after waking up, he would hear the voices in his head. The nightmare would appear again and again, striking at random. The looming feeling of paranoia led him to bury himself in work. He would record videos for hours upon hours, hoping and praying that he wouldn't have to sleep. If he had to sleep, he prayed that the dream would leave him alone. It never did. The dream seemed to get worse over time. The room would get slightly darker each time. The flowers would grow taller, and the people would slowly shift their appearance so they looked more familiar. His fans noticed his odd behavior in videos, and even when they would see him on the street, rumors began to spread. There was the classic Ethan is dying theory, and even one that said he was kidnapped and forced to make videos. But then there were the few who theorized differently. They began talking of his dark ego. 
that this thing was somehow corrupting him. When Ethan remained silent on the topic of his behavior change, the same fans stuck with the theory that Ethan wasn't Ethan. They gave this other version of him different names. Corrupt Crank seemed to be the most popular for a while. Some of those who didn't take the other fans seriously would mock them by coming up with names like Crank Gumples and Dank Gameplays. Both made him laugh, but he never spoke of it to anyone else. The name Blank Gameplays, or just Blank, began to circulate. At first, he thought nothing of it. It was another name for something that didn't exist. Eventually, the hype would die down and the fanbase would move on. The first night he saw it, he went to bed as normal. Though reluctant to do so, he preferred being in bed and sleeping willingly over passing out at his desk. As usual, the moment he began to doze off, the dream began. This time, though, things were different. The flowers had grown unbelievably tall. The stems, once a lovely green, were now brown and wrinkled. They looked as if they had all died, but somehow the petals were fine. Instead of people he slightly recognized, this group of beings were exact replicas. The only difference between him and the doppelgangers were their pitch black eyes. Rather than random gibberish, they said nothing at all as they moved closer. More afraid than he'd ever been, he attempted to run, but he couldn't. His legs refused to move in the slightest. When the figure surrounded him in a tight circle, he forced himself to ask one question. Who are you? He asked, voice small and soft. In perfect unison, they replied, You. you. His eyes snapped open as pain surged through his body. Unable to move, he felt like he was still in the dream. The only thing he could control were his eyes. So, hesitantly, he glanced down at his left hand. On top of his hand sat another one. It was exactly like his, yet completely different. It moved forward. In one moment, he felt all the air in his lungs be pulled from him. Somewhere along the way, he had closed his eyes to deal with the pain. When he reopened them, there was another body. He could only see the back, yet he knew immediately that the body was his. Still unable to breathe, he struggled to gasp for air. The other him seemed to levitate, pulling itself from his body in the most painful way. It flopped forward onto the floor, and then, in a single second, the pain stopped. The air rushed back to his lungs, and he shot out of bed, grabbing the lamp closest to him. Terrified as he was, he would use the light as a weapon if he had to. Ethan quickly moved to the floor in front of the bed. On the ground lay a crumpled form of his body. Cracks littered his ghostly skin like broken pottery. So far, it hadn't moved. Confused, he stepped forward and nudged it with his foot. Like he activated something, it jolted upright in such an odd, inhuman way that he was convinced there was something supernatural involved. As the doppelganger turned, the cracks on his body slowly pulled themselves together only existing in the form of scars. His eyes were completely black. Once Ethan blinked, the black vanished and matched his eyes perfectly. Unlike the normal smile Ethan was used to wearing, the other wore an odd frown. It was like he wanted to smile, but some unknown force was keeping the frown there. Once more, Ethan voiced his concern. Who are you? Blinking in confusion, the figure tilted his head to the side. I'm you, he replied, sounding genuinely offended. Terrified, Ethan dwelled over his options. He could call the police, but doubted they would take him seriously, because there was no break-in and he hadn't been attacked at all. The other didn't even seem hostile. So, slowly working himself down, from terrified and into the curious phase, 
He spoke again. What's your name? The figure was silent for an uncomfortably long moment. Then it replied with one word. Blank. It all started to make sense. For months, he had been plagued by nightmares. However, they never started until he saw that name. This blank had always been paired with other dark entities, but he seemed more broken than evil. He never showed any outward emotion, though. As a result, Ethan never knew what he was thinking. Blank was never violent or rude in any way, but when Ethan was unbelievably stressed or overwhelmed, he would change. Cracks would form in his skin, the black eyes would return, and he would just act strange. The only emotion he ever truly showed was anger. Despite that, he never seemed to have any desire to harm Ethan. And yet fans still noticed that while Ethan seemed fine in videos, those who saw him in real life knew something was off. He wore his signature smile with a bright and joyful eyes to match, but many had reported an odd marking on his left hand. Though no one could properly identify it, they all said that it resembled a crack of some kind.